fall, your home for Halo. Hello everyone and welcome to an exciting review here on Evolved. As you can see, today we're taking a look at the GameStop exclusive Warthog with Master Chief and Arbiter from the 3 and 3 quarter inch Jazzwares World of Halo line. This set is based on the iconic Warthog run from the end of Halo 3 and it features our first rendition of the Halo 3 Warthog design in this scale. Whilst we open up this set, make sure to drop this video a like if you enjoy it, and also subscribe here on Evolved for plenty more Halo reviews in the future. Up first we'll take a look at the two figures, the Master Chief and the Arbiter. The Halo 3 version of the Master Chief is one of the best figures Jazzwares have released in the world of Halo line at least in my opinion. There are lots of additional paint applications packed into this figure, capturing many of the unique nuances which make the Halo 3 suit so iconic. Not only do we have the scratch on the chest plate and other details throughout the various pieces of armour packed into the figure, but we also have a fantastic sculpt which has plenty of articulation packed in. The quality here feels great too, with no joints sticking allowing us to pose the figure in lots of great ways. Combine this with the classic assault rifle design and you have a fantastic action figure packed in. The Arbiter is another absolutely fantastic figure, with the base gold colour here matching perfectly how the character appears in Halo 3. I am really impressed with the colour choices which Jazzwares made with this figure, and I also love the commitment they made to packing in lots of additional sculpted detailing throughout the character. The figure really captures all of the ornate details and intricacies which the Arbiter's armour has within the game, and the end result is a figure which feels pulled from the screen. Combine this with some great additional paint apps for the undersuit, and you have another perfect figure. The cherry on top is the inclusion of the Covenant Carbine, a brand new weapon for the World of Halo line which fits perfectly in Arbiter's hands and looks very well scaled. Shout out to whoever on the Jazzwares team designed these figures, they're as close as you can get to perfect inclusions in my opinion. Moving on to the bulk of the set, we have the Halo 3 design for the Warthog, and the first thing that stuck out to me was how this feels like a scaled down version of the Warthog that McFarlane released in the Halo Reach days, which is a very good thing. That design felt incredibly faithful to the games, and I am happy to say that Jazzwares have managed to achieve the same effect. The overall shaping and design of this vehicle looks fantastic, and it really feels as though it's been pulled straight out of Halo 3. There are lots of small paint applications packed into the vehicle, with details for the lights and other elements at the front of the vehicle, through to plenty of sculpt detailing packed into the seating area. There are certainly a couple of small issues here, like the guards of the turret flattening a little in the packaging, but overall this is a very faithful rendition of the Warthog, which I think classic Halo fans will love. The vehicle also features a rotating and adjustable machine gun turret on the rear, and the vehicle has the ability to roll well across multiple surfaces too. The only improvement I would make here is a suspension system, but for this price point I wouldn't expect suspension to be included here. When we compare this vehicle to the Halo Infinite version of the Warthog, the huge differences between the two designs become apparent, and they show how much Jazzwares committed to making every element of the Halo 3 Warthog unique. I have a lot of respect for their commitment to new over reused, and I think that shows in how sharp a contrast the two designs have here. Both items reflect different eras of Halo, but look fantastic compared to each other, and both have a similar scale and dimension too. When comparing them, my only reflection was that the Infinite Warthog had some additional paint apps in the dashboard area, something which the Halo 3 version could have perhaps benefited from as well. Overall, I love this set, and I think it shows just how much the Jazzwares team really understands Halo. 
This takes one of the most iconic moments which we play through in the original trilogy and immortalises it in a fun playset which puts quality at the forefront of what it does. I adore how much detail is packed into the figures here, really making them feel like the definitive versions of these characters which could have easily had single card back releases. I also love the amount of sculpt detail and richness packed into the Warthog, making this feel like a vehicle which has been pulled straight from the screen. I cannot fault this pack and the items it includes, and if you have the chance to add it to your collection, then I definitely would. I cannot wait to see what else Jazzwares creates from the classic games in the future. That's all for this video, let us know what you think of this set in the comments down below, and as always, evolved.